Okay, so I've recently created a Ubuntu VM on VirtualBox and now I'm going to show you how to connect uh, Windows or, or how to RDP or remote desktop into that Ubuntu instance. So I'm going to actually use uh, the native terminal services uh, RDP connection on Windows to do this. And previously I set up my uh, VM. So if I go to settings here and I look at the settings of my VM for Ubuntu, uh, what I did was in the network I set up the bridge adapter uh, which allows it to get a DHCP IP address from my DHCP server on the network. And in the display I enabled the uh, remote desktop or uh, remote display. So let me go ahead and boot up that VM. And I'm gonna have to install some software on it, uh, mainly the XRDP server on my Ubuntu desktop and um, instance, and also uh, the GNOME fallback session. Uh, because I think for whatever reason, uh, remote desktop is not functional on the native Ubuntu 3D desktop. So, uh, desktop environment. So, uh, as I'm waiting for this to boot up, um, probably in another 30 seconds or so. So Ubuntu booted up and I'm going to log in. And I'm going to go to the terminal. And I'll be installing the XRDP software. So uh, actually, I'm going to check my IP address first here. So let's see. My IP address is this. And let me just kick this off and install the software. So I got to SU into the get uh, admin privileges here. To me, I'm going to say yes to install. It's downloading the software here. And this only takes a couple of seconds. Okay, so this is all set. Now I'm gonna install the desktop software or the GNOME fallback session. This is 37 megs, which might take a little bit longer to download. So after this installs, I'm going to have to restart my session. So while that is downloading, I'm just going to type out the command for that, which is simply just to restart my RDP session that I had.
So the GNOME fallback session is actually a different desktop than the current one that you're seeing here, which is the default Ubuntu one. So okay, finish installing. So I'm going to restart the session here. And it's been restarted. So um, as you saw before, the command for the IP address is this. So I know that my IP address is the 106 IP address. And I'm going to attempt now to remote desktop in. And you'll see that in a couple of seconds it will actually okay it's actually blank that, that's because I forgot to do one thing which is set the X session so as I'm doing that I'm going to cut off, I'm going to restart here, oops, so it cut off the session, and if you notice, before my desktop was blank, so what I have to do is I, I have to go to my home directory, and you'll notice I, I don't have a dot X session file, which is the configuration file for the GNOME desktop. So I'm going to do that right now, setting that up here. The session to be the GNOME fallback session. So now you'll see I have that X session file and let me just double check to see what's in the file and if that's what I want gnome dash session dash dash session equals gnome dash fallback which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to try this out again. I'm going to connect using the normal Windows RDP session. I mean client. And there you go. You'll notice I have my desktop now. I can bring up the browser. And I'm actually just using the normal Windows RDP. So there you go. That's how you set up the RDP session to work with your Windows remote desktop.